here for it. Guitars, Josh. Over here. You don't have to. I'm pretty sure that's a Those are tailors. So let's see where we're going. We got the rules. We got some activities. All right, we're at site 38. right here we got some uh, turkey and uh, we're obviously we're camping so we're cooking outside on the portable cooktop we got that cooking on a portable cooktop and beef is actually ground turkey we're gonna let it brown and then we're gonna put some of this delicious mozzarella cheese ravioli pasta we're doing that. So now go ahead and open the top off of that. We're gonna put a little seasoning in here. Now I can't take credit for this recipe. I got it off of uh, some outdoor camper on YouTube. I'm sure mom will put the link to whoever that guy was. So if anybody wanna go see how he did it versus how I did it. This is, uh, this is family size. 
Alright. I don't know. Might have a might have a little bit for a late night snack or something like that in case somebody gets hungry in the middle of the night. Okay. Oh, we'll put this in here. Oh. These are actually pretty big. Bigger than I expected. Alright, so we got some ravioli pasta with some mozzarella already inside. And these are the already ready, ready to cook, so you don't have to boil them. So I just add a little water. You can see my uh, my ground turkey is nice and brown. We're gonna let the pasta get a little bit softer. We're gonna add some sauce. Then we're also gonna add a few veggies to it. Stay, stay healthy with it. We'll let that cover up. And we're gonna let it cook about maybe five more minutes. Got it? Still hot? Mm hmm <laughs> Burning the inside of my mouth. Alright, you might want to let it cool off for a minute. Thanks. Alright, Josh is holding the lunch. Beautiful day. Nice breeze. Making memories. Leaving the beach. Did y'all have fun? Everybody's a shot. <laughs> Day is done. Today was a good day. All right, we back out here again. This time I'm doing my version of a old Spanish dish: uh, chicken uh, and sausage paella. So you can do this with seafood, do it with chicken, you can do shrimp. But basically, it's some uh, grilled chicken. We're gonna put some sausage, some kielbasa, uh, turkey sausage in, in a little bit. And then we're gonna finish it up with a, with a little bit of rice. Got the rice going on the inside. All right. 
right. Hopefully it turned out pretty good. It's my first time ever trying this. So I'll let you know how it turns out. Yesemi, South Carolina. Spent the day out at uh, Nags Head, not Nags Head, uh, Hilton Head. Uh, out in the water, had a pretty good time out there. I think the kids enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. So now we're back here at the campsite, making a little dinner for the evening. Just gonna sit back and take it easy. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Probably not gonna do too much other than take it easy. But yeah, we'll see how this paella turns out. Went ahead and added some, uh, some cut up turkey sausage. Chicken's come along pretty good. Also chopped up some bell pepper, a little bit of onion. Got a little cilantro I'm gonna add. I'm gonna wait and put that in at the end. But I want these onions and these green peppers to get a little bit soft right now. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this up. About maybe five minutes or so, let this get soft. Saute just a little bit, get a little soft. Also with that uh, uh, turkey sausage, let everything kind of mix together. We're gonna cover it up for just a few more minutes. Again, we'll go inside and check and see how the rice is going. All right, good deal. Okay, so we're back out here. We combined uh, a little bit of Spanish rice and. Yeah, some Spanish rice and now we're mixing it all together. Oh, can't forget the cilantro. See how we got everything all mixed together. Just looking all nice and pretty and everything. So yeah, I know it's not quite, you know, uh, Spanish paella, but it's, it's my version. I don't know what you want to call it, but we're going to call it supper, dinner, something. All right. All right. Cover that up. The heat is off. Let all everything just kind of blend together. That's it. Still hot? Mm hmm <laughs> Burning the inside of my mouth. Alright. Might We're out for our morning stroll. Let me look. Let me see. Oh, that's bad. You wanna go up closer? <laughs> Alright, Josh. See the alligator, what are you thinking? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> what you think, honey? I want to give a quick shout out to my dear friend Nakia for blessing me with this handy uh, travel tote. That's what I'm calling it. I'm not sure what the official name is, but look at the personalization. And she knows that I am always hauling a lot of stuff. So this cool uh, travel tote has this Velcro pocket, um, which I would use for uh, those things that I wouldn't want to slip out. Um, and then it has two compartments and one is actually um, has the separator, um, which is really nice and roomy. Uh, it also has these side pockets, which are ideal. I use them for my USB chargers and hand sanitizer. And then these two front pockets. So for example, I am always highlighting and reading and uh, doing things. So I am just gonna show you how I'm gonna load this. I am going to load it down with some of the work that I brought with me, uh, including my planner. I'll put this on the right hand side. I have some surprises that I'll tell you about later. I'm off the press. I'm really excited about the latest projects and then my files so as you can see it's durable it holds everything and it has pockets for everything so including my ipad which i'm going to put on the side with my planner and again everything has a place there's something for everything. So I always like to keep, like to keep extra um, chargers and my USB things because in banks because you know wherever I end up I want to be able to have chargers and all of the all of the things when traveling. So I usually keep this up front with me so that I can be productive while we are on the road. Thank you, Nakia, for this beautiful gift. I love the customization, and I just love that you were thoughtful enough to think of me to bless me with this handy uh, tote. But fortunately, they had the car here, so good to go there. All right, this is the front of the campground. Volleyball, of course you get. And today they have Chef Donald's Southern Cuisine food truck. See what they have on the menu. Oh, there's the miniature golf also.
lined up, ready to go. <laughs> Oaks at Point South RV camping ground, thousand trail site. Scale of thumbs up. Thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. All right, I think I'll give it a thumbs up too. Very quiet. This is our first thousand trails campsite, so yeah. I'll have a frame of reference. That's true. But the pool 